So everybody knows that Wolfpack is finding you money out of politics. We believe that the best way to do that is to do a convention. And that is because Congress is very unlikely to propose an amendment unless they are pressured. So we go state to state and I've got some good news and some bad news for you guys today. As usual, a roller coaster ride. We start in Massachusetts where we start with a terrific news. Uh, we had our sponsor, Senator Jamie Eldridge, uh, doing a fantastic job. And I always like to give credit uh, to uh, people who are helpful and to state senators and reps who are American heroes looking to get money out of politics. Yes, there are good representatives in the world. And, uh, and we did something we'd never done before in Massachusetts. And with the help of other groups that I'm gonna tell you about, uh, we got through two different committees. Man, everything's great, we're in good shape, right? Um, and. Uh, more good news, we had more co-sponsors than we needed for a majority in the Senate. We're definitely gonna pass this thing. Have you seen this movie before? Well, here comes Common Cause. So this is the group that claims to be progressive. They even say on our website that they're looking to get money out of politics. That's funny um, and tragic uh, because no one fights us harder to keep money in politics. Maybe they think that that's not their intent, but uh, they are fighting against all conventions, including one to get money out of politics. You want to fight against a convention to get uh, to stop a balanced budget amendment? Great, I don't want a balanced budget amendment. That's a conservative idea, I don't agree with it, right? Why are you fighting our convention to get money out of politics? They fight us harder than the Koch brothers, they fight us harder than anyone else, and unfortunately, they have excellent lobbyists. So all of our volunteers work again in the state of Massachusetts, and not just Wolfpack, but other groups as well. Flushed down, because they went and talked to Senator Eric Lesser, and uh, he was a co-sponsor, he was in. And they're like, oh, watch out, Eric. No, conventions are scary. They lead to real change. Don't do it. Don't do it. So they turn and they gut the bill. They take the convention out of it. So now Massachusetts has asked for the second time for Congress to pretty please propose this amendment to get money out of politics. How's that working out? Have they proposed it yet? You asked them once before. Oh, right. That's the same national Congress. That is deeply corrupt, that got their power through this corrupt system. And lo and behold, it turns out they're not going to voluntarily change it. Shocking. But, oh, but I'm so glad you asked them pretty please one more time. I bet that works. No, you call for a convention, you put pressure on them. Now, Common Cause says the professional way to do things is to use lobbyists and gentlemanly kill your bill in the middle of the night. Um, they say that our volunteers are too aggressive. All right, so I'm gonna show you one of our volunteers who worked in Massachusetts. His name is Guy O'Donnell, he's a regular citizen as you're gonna see, just like one of you guys. He actually cared a lot about getting money out of politics. Didn't work in politics before, ever. and But he just was a good American citizen and wanted to help. So here's his story of how things went down in Massachusetts. My name is Guy O'Donnell, I am a volunteer for Wolfpack here in Holyoke, Massachusetts. I've been involved with Wolfpac for over four years now. Uh, last session, I was state director. So this year, uh, we just got we got pretty far. We got to a Senate vote, uh, which is a lot further than we got last session. Um, but for the Senate vote, we had a senator uh, introduce an amendment that gutted the bill, um, basically taking out the call for an Article Five convention. This was um, a senator that I was close to. Um, I've I've canvassed for his reelection campaign. Um, I've talked with him many times about this. He was on board with this bill for the last couple of years at least. Um, and then within uh, a couple of days of the vote, he decided to do, introduce this amendment, taking out the Article 5 convention because he was just terrified of the Article 5 convention all of a sudden. Uh, it was really discouraging. Um, uh, it it, it kind of hurt. Um, it, it, we've, I've put a lot of work into this, thousands of hours and a lot of my own resources as well. And uh, to have it go down that way where a senator that I know and like uh, was the one that really brought down the bill um, wasn't great. I'm uh, a little heartbroken, but uh, hopeful for the next session. <sighs> okay, I, look, I love that guy. Uh, and. I love all our volunteers in Massachusetts and Maryland and New Mexico and Hawaii and all the places that fought for years and years to have a common cause lobbyist come in 
and whisper sweet nothings into the ears of the senators. Oh, don't do a convention, that's a real change. You might actually get money out of politics, don't do it. Now, look, um, it's not personal. I, the guys at Common Cause, I'm sure they're pleasant people if you met them in the real world. And, and the senators who vote the wrong way, they're not, they, most of the times they're not bad people. But it doesn't help, it, you're, you're still doing the wrong thing. And, and so there's gotta be consequences. And, and what I mean by that, and let me be super clear is, we help our friends and, and we defeat the people who are against us. That's the whole point of the organization, that's kind of how politics works. So for example, we put Antonio, uh, we put $50,000 into Antonio Hayes campaign in Maryland. That's a lot of money for a state senate election, you know why? Because he has voted to get money out of politics, he's voted for the free and fair elections resolution. He's a good guy, Senator Jamie Eldridge that I just told you about in Massachusetts, wonderful guy. Uh, proposed this uh, and fought for it. A lot of great senators in Massachusetts who gave rousing speeches about how we gotta get money out of politics and voted the right way. Uh, but then, of course, all you, it takes is usually one, like a committee head or a head of the Senate, or head of the uh, House, etc. And they talk to a lobbyist and all of a sudden, hey, what could I do? Well, what, here's what you could do, you could lose your next election. Um, ask uh, Representative Valancourt uh, who voted against us in, in New Hampshire. Uh, incumbent since the 1990s, gone. Uh, the person who voted against us uh, that ran against Antonio Hayes, she lost by 30 points, gone. And for our friends, we got nothing but love for you. And so we are going to get this money out of politics one way or another. And Common Cause thinks they're really, really clever, uh, but I don't think they are. Uh, and I think that United, uh, we will be able to get past this issue as well. Uh, they use, and so, uh, they say, well, if you do a convention, they could propose any amendment. First of all, they've lost on all of the facts. Uh, they used to say, well, they could take your convention idea and put it together with a conservative convention idea. Well, all you need is 34 uh, states to call for a convention. And right now, Congress has counted more than 34 states. They cannot put them together. So now you're being gratuitous. Now you're attacking conventions that would get money out of politics. Why, because you want to? Because you're already wrong on the facts. I debated them at a conference recently, we put that up on uh, online, and I'll give you where you could find it in a minute. And now they don't make that point anymore, because it's not true. You cannot combine two different issues to have a convention. You can't put a conservative one and, and a progressive one. And by the way, getting money out of politics is not purely progressive. It's bipartisan, 93% of Americans agree. And the second part is, they say, well, anything could happen at a convention. That's just not true. All that could happen at a convention is you could propose an amendment, like Congress can propose an amendment. At the end of the convention, then you have to ratify. You have to have three quarters of the states, 38 states ratify. And you can't have anything ratified if it's really liberal or really conservative. Just keep it real. There's too many red states, too many blue states. The only thing you can ratify is one that we all agree on, getting money out of politics. But they won't let us do it through the states. And it's, look, it common causes the main people who do it, but why? Because they have the Democratic Party leaders come to them and go, Nancy Pelosi hates this idea. All the Democratic leaders hate this idea. They go, no, oh, no, 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 no. That would give power to the people. Then they could propose an amendment on their own without us. Goddamn right, that's exactly what we wanna do. You take power back, it's supposed to be a democracy. The Democratic Party hates this. And so when Common Cause says that the leadership and Pelosi and Schumer don't like it, she's right. Because they wanna keep their power. When they ask Nancy Pelosi, hey, um, what is the um, reason why you should be the leader of the Democrats in the House? She said, I raise the most money. So if you take money out of politics, there's no reason why Nancy Pelosi should be leader. So of course she clings on to power and so, so do all the corrupt leaders of the Democratic Party. And I gotta hand it to them, when they wanna fight, it turns out they can fight. Uh, they, they, they never want to fight Republicans. I mean, they'll lay down again on the Supreme Court and on every other issue. But when it comes to fighting real progressives, oh, they're like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is about my power. So then they mount up and they get every lobbyist and they get their common cause guys. Unfortunately, I, look, I believe we're gonna change all these minds and these hearts and we're gonna do it one way or another, okay? But uh, our good friends in the unions, a lot of them are on the wrong side. Well, I, I give money to politicians too. Yes, but I don't know if you know this, corporations have a lot more money than you. 
So keep on losing and see how that turns out for you. So if you want to find out more, let me give you some resources. Literally, wolf-pack.com slash resources tells you everything you need to know about a convention so that you could fight back against the propaganda of the powerful, the elite, the establishment, common cause, groups pretending to be progressive but keeping money in politics. And if you want to see my debate with a representative of common cause from New Mexico, we just recently had it at a convention put together by American Promise. I really appreciate that they had that public debate and I appreciate common cause showing up to that debate. You can watch it yourself, it's on youtube.com slash tyt, but it's also on wolf-pack.com slash howl. It's their daily blog for Wolfpack and just check out the video for yourself. And see who you think is right, okay? Make up your own mind, it's unedited. You watch the whole video, see for yourself, okay? We have the facts on our side, almost every single group. where It's the Justice Department, the American Bar Association, Congressional Research Service, every single one of them says, you cannot combine issues, it must be on a single issue. So when groups on the left fight conventions on the issue of getting money out of politics, it is not because of anything related to do with conservatives or fighting the right wing. It's just simply not true, it's not remotely true. And now they know it, but they keep saying it anyway. And then when I say, hey, I question if you really want to get money out of politics, they're like, oh, how dare you? I beseech you to stop. Why, what are you doing? You're literally no other group. We defeated the Koch brothers in New Jersey when we passed it. That was actually relatively easy, but when the Democrats come, and man, the Democratic legislators, a lot of times they run for the hills, and that is hard. So if we need to fight the Democrats, damn right we will. You wanna fight the Republicans, damn right we will. We're gonna fight anyone in our path, and we're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna do it through politics, we're gonna do it through our constitution, and we're gonna win. Now, good news, we're not alone. There's a lot of great groups that wanna work on this. And we proposed the unity letter at that same conference I was telling you about that American Promise put together. And a lot of wonderful groups who want to get money out of politics has, have signed on to it. You can read the letter for yourself at wolf-pack.com slash unity. And you know what it says? It says, I know it's a radical idea. We should try every avenue to get money out of politics. Can you believe that they actually disagree with that? They said, no, 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 don't do the one that's actually most effective. Do you know that half the amendments to the Constitution have been passed because there was pressure from, a from an Article 5 convention? The, the Congress, the 17th Amendment is the best example. Direct election of senators, hey, uh, why would the senators wanna change a system where they just get picked by the state guys? It led to incredible corruption, but that's how they got into power. They, would, they didn't wanna do that. Couple of states away from calling a convention, and all of a sudden the senators are like, "Oh yeah, 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 we 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 meant direct election. Conventions put pressure on Congress, then maybe even Congress could propose it." But the Democratic leadership goes, "No, I don't want that. I might lose my power." Republican leadership at the national level says, "I don't want that. I might lose my power." And Common Cause says, "How can I help you maintain your power and not get any change at all?" Anyway, but look, now let me move on to the good guys. So who signed the unity letter saying, yes, we should pursue every single path? Wolfpack, of course, initiated the letter and they did a wonderful job with that. But let me talk to you about the other groups that are involved. Then you had American Promise. Look, they brought these folks together to, in the first place at the, at, the, at the conference that I went to recently. They did a wonderful job with that and, and they believe in all paths. And they have helped us in different states. Understand there are wonderful, wonderful groups out there that are fighting for the right things, led by Jeff Clements and Ben Gubitz for American Province. And then represent us. Another conference I went to, another great group that works on every single different path, led by Josh Silver. These are great groups, this is real unity. The Stamp Stampede, that is led by Ben Cohen, yes, from Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, that Ben Cohen, great American patriot. He's willing to do anything and everything to get money out of politics. He could be on a beach somewhere eating his own ice cream. No, he's in the middle of the fight. He's like Guy O'Donnell, the volunteer you just saw. He's like all of you guys who are fighting. They, they, they're standing a post and saying, I'm ready to do anything and everything to make sure that we reclaim our democracy. Uh, then you've got Take Back Our Republic. That's actually a conservative group. So when we say that uh, Wolfpack is nonpartisan, we're not joking, okay? That's a group led by John Putner, he's a conservative. He's the one that got Eric Cantor thrown out of office, okay? Now that's grassroots, and you know what? They also don't like corruption. They also don't like crony capitalism. 
Are there corrupt Republican uh, politicians who like money in politics and who like that we don't have a free and fair elections, that we have rigged elections? Yes, of course. Are there Democrats who think the same thing? Yes, of course. But there are also good conservatives willing to fight alongside good progressives on this issue. We get our democracy back, then we can go back to fighting on the other stuff through an actual system of government that represents the people. And then you got PCCC, look at that man. Conservative groups next to incredibly progressive groups like PCCC led by Adam Green, Stephanie Taylor, and they are real fighters for change, boldprogressives.org, they're a wonderful group. And then you got the local groups, get money out of Maryland, GMAMA, it's a great, wonderful, enthusiastic, unstoppable group in Maryland. Yes, get money out of Maryland and Wolfpack got defeated by common cause lobbyists in Maryland. You think we're not gonna come back? No, we're never gonna get discouraged. And we're gonna keep coming back and back and back until we win. And the main person who got in our way in Maryland? Well, I told you about her a minute ago. We spent $50,000 and she doesn't have her seat anymore. So that's one less opponent. And next time we win in Maryland and in Massachusetts, We the People Massachusetts is a wonderful group. Work their hearts off in Massachusetts, only to be disappointed in the ways that I explained earlier in the video. So please support all of these groups. There is real unity among progressives and even conservatives who actually believe in our democracy and our constitution. So let's work together to make that happen. And so if you want any of those links, just will, if you're watching this later on YouTube or Facebook, we'll have all those links down below in the description box. Get in the fight. So let's volunteer. Let's participate in every way that we can. And I promise you that we are going to be relentless. We're never gonna give in, and we're gonna just double our forces, triple our forces, and we're gonna put it over the top, not just in Maryland and Massachusetts, but also in the red states. Because the American people, they can't stand the establishment. I know the establishment doesn't like to hear that, but they don't like it. We've had 40, 50 years of this system oppressing us, and it hasn't worked. All it does is give everything to the donors. We're gonna change this, we're gonna change it in a democratic way, we're gonna do it the right way, and I promise you that if you get involved, we can't be stopped, we will win, and you're gonna make that happen. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks, one is hit the subscribe button down below, then you're a TYT subscriber, and second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.